Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monique, the Lux Lady on all social media. I came here to do a quick unboxing of my Trey Bella wig that I ordered, which I'm going to be getting installed today. So I just wanted to unbox it with you guys and show you. I have been knowing about this company for quite some time now. If you know me or you have watched any of the videos, I started out doing videos for Arjuni Hair, which is a Cambodian based, was a Cambodian based uh, hair weave extension company and they're no longer um, in business. They have since closed. So I became a fan of Cambodian hair when I started using Arjuni Hair. And I have been on the hunt for somebody that could make a Cambodian wig. Uh, so I got lately here lately I've just I don't know I'm just tired of my hair being braided up and getting a full sew in so then I switched to just wearing wigs I tried that whole frontal thing I tried the glue like the got to be glued I tried even getting the frontal done with the bold hole it is just not for me so um, right now I am wearing a U Park clip-in wig with uh, Sailor Rose hair hair that I sell and um, I just like stuff to be easy. I was just sick of my hair being braided up for so long, but I am going to get this wig installed via braids because I'm going to be going on vacation and I don't want to just be popping a wig on and off every day. I want to go swimming, so I want it more secure, but um, that's why I'm doing the install with the uh, braids today. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. I already removed my address because I'm terrible for showing my address online. Um, oh, but going back to the, the Trey Bella, I found out about them because I've just been on the hunt for some quality Cambodian hair. And although I sell hair and I can get Cambodian hair, by the time I would have got the hair, sent it to her and had her make it, it would have been just about the same price as her using the, all, the Cambodian hair she had, which seem to be very very good quality so if you go to her website you can get like made to order units you can get prefab units which are just exactly how they, they describe or you can get custom wigs made so I um, got a made to order unit so let's go ahead and open it up it came yesterday the process for her wigs can take up to four weeks, so if you had an, have an event you want to um, go ahead and plan for that. I think you can pay for a rush, um, but I'm not sure if it's guaranteed or not on um, made-to-order units. Okay, so it comes in the box with another one of her boxes, which is nice. So let's go ahead and take that out. Pretty big box. So then this is her box. Nice packaging, nice brown and uh, kind of aqua turquoise uh, logo. It's a really nice sturdy box. Okay, so inside it is bagged the unit is in a nice chiffon bag or whatever this material is and let's go ahead and take a peek inside so I was wrestling with whether I was going to get a wig that had a frontal or a wig that had a closure I've never I'm recently new to frontals and closures I've always just gotten sew-ins um the last couple wigs that I had have been frontals and they've just seemed like a lot of maintenance or they shed where the frontal area is. So I say, you know what, I'm going to just try closure this time. I'm not the type that wears my hair like 18 different ways. I kind of stick to either my hair flipped over to the side or part in the middle. So when I got this unit, I asked if she could shift my closure like one inch to the right so that I can have the flexibility to part it in the middle. Um, or part it like a deep deep right side part and so hopefully that's what um, is done here so it's in a net so I'm going to go ahead and take it out of this net I'm thankful that I see the color is not super dark um, because I thought it was going to be like black but the hair is really pretty and yes the, it is shifted to the right so that's good 
you can see the closure in the inside like it's not perfectly centered it is a five by five closure so that's going to give you five um, inches of space this way and then five back this way and it does go back pretty deep I really like that let's see if I can show it a bit better on camera I also did pay to have my knots bleached because I just didn't want to deal with it so that is the um, actual parting space and how the knots look really, really nice. The hair is nice and bouncy. Um, this is a Cambodian 22 inch wig. It's really, really soft. I'm getting absolutely no shedding. And again, I'm glad that it's like, my hair is like a 1B-ish. And I did want to have this hair dyed. And I'm glad that she was honest with me. She said that this hair won't lift to where I was trying to get it to in the pictures that I showed her. I'm glad that she was honest with me and telling me that instead of like, okay, let me take your money. And then this hair is going to start falling out in patches because it's been over-processed. So let me show you the inside construction because it is so neat and i've tried to make a mini of wigs and they've never turned out like this i'm just gonna flip it inside out it is constructed on the japanese swim cap which i really like because it's breathable uh the stitching is very very neat and very evenly spaced it does have some combs in it on the sides and in the back it has her logo right here and then I guess it's the brand logo of the swim cap that she uses I did have to do measurements for this unit and I'm hoping that it's right because I had um at that time I kind of had like a perimeter braid um and a um, wig on when I had to do it so I kind of tried to like compensate for uh space and plus and minus wherever I could so I'm hoping that it is right. I'm not going to try it on right now because I'm obviously wearing some uh, um, U part right now. But I am going to be taking this and getting it sewn on completely. So hopefully that will look good. I am so scared about having a wig sewn on on vacation because... I, just from the recent experience of me wearing wigs, my hair is like super fine. Like it's like baby hair I've never had a relaxer or anything like that and braids just don't tend to hold on my hair so I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot of like water being in the water a lot and I know the more that I get in the water the looser that braid is gonna come and I just don't want the wig to start shifting but I'm going to a pretty good stylist um, in Tampa so hopefully she will get it like tacked down good enough where I'm not worried so much worried about it but yeah uh i do like the wig it is beautiful that's just my initial impression of it uh it looks like it definitely holds a curl look how bouncy it is um the length is pretty good it has a little bit of dimension and colors i can see there's like various tones of like dark dark browns so that's really really pretty but i'm excited i am going to go get this installed and then i'll do a follow-up um maybe a photo or something uh, to show you what it looks like maybe a follow-up video uh, but yes the hair is very soft very very full I'm not sure how many bundles she uses I'm not sure at all uh, but it looks like it's a good density for me I don't like super full hair big big hair I also would never wear my hair this this curly this is just too much um, so these would have to really loosen out for me I like kind of like a relaxed uh, beachy wave type of look but yeah that's it so this is the Trey Bella made to order uh, unit it is a Cambodian 22 inch wig with a 5x5 closure shifted slightly to the right so that allows me some middle and deep side parting space um, if you have any questions please let me know uh, and if you haven't done so already please go ahead and rate comment and subscribe subscribe is the most important I am trying to be more consistent in YouTube and trying to get to a thousand at least a thousand followers you have to start somewhere so a thousand is a very attainable goal for me I'm not going to be like I want 40,000 followers in two weeks yeah right or subscribers that's not going to happen so 
let's keep it realistic. But anyway, again, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on my next video. Bye.